Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and we're going to go back to Vietnam tonight for a tale of honor, but first, tonight's episode is being brought to us brought to you by Design Cake Studios. They're a small creative design company with big talent in graphic and web design. If you or your business needs a look, or maybe a new one, head on over to designcakestudios.com. I did, and I really couldn't be happier with the logo and the business cards I received from them, because I'm always getting compliments on both of them. When you do contact them, let them know you heard about them here on the podcast, because if you do that, you'll receive a free consultation. Design Cake Studios, fresh thinking made bold. And now, a tale of honor. William E. Adams was born on the 16th of June, 1939, in Casper, Wyoming, and joined the Army in 1962. As a major, Adams began his tour in Vietnam on the 6th of July, 1970, and it was his actions on the 25th of May, 1971, that he would receive the Medal of Honor for. His citation reads, Major Adams distinguished himself on 25 May, 1971, while serving as a helicopter pilot in Kantum Province in the Republic of Vietnam. On that date, Major Adams volunteered to fly a lightly armed helicopter in an attempt to evacuate three seriously wounded soldiers from a small fire base which was under attack by a large enemy force. He made the decision with full knowledge that numerous anti-aircraft weapons were positioned around the base and that the clear weather would afford the enemy gunners unobstructed view of all routes into the base. As he approached the base, the enemy gunners opened fire with heavy machine guns, rocket-propelled grenades, and small arms. Undaunted by the fusillade, he continued his approach, determined to accomplish the mission. Displaying tremendous courage under fire, he calmly directed the attacks of supporting gunships while maintaining absolute control of the helicopter he was flying. He landed the aircraft at the firebase, despite the ever-increasing enemy fire, and calmly waited until the wounded soldiers were placed on board. As his aircraft departed the firebase, it was struck and seriously damaged by enemy anti aircraft fire and began descending. Flying with exceptional skill, he immediately regained control of the crippled aircraft and attempted a controlled landing. Despite his valiant efforts, the helicopter exploded, overturned, and plummeted to the earth amid the hail of enemy fire. Major Adams' conspicuous gallantry, intradeputy, and humanitarian regard for his fellow man were in keeping of the most cherished traditions of the military service and reflected utmost credit on him and the U.S. Army. William E. Adams received the Medal of Honor posthumously and is buried at the Fort Logan National Cemetery and his name is listed on the Vietnam War Memorial, panel 03W, row 054. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you very much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. And if you like this podcast... I mean, how could you not? Please be sure to leave a nice review, a rating, and tell a friend and your family. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at thebeardeddetailer.com slash TOH podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them right to me at talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening.